Booyakasha, it is I, Randall Savage, coming at ya with that gangsta fire. You may have heard, recently those miserable curmudgeons at the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences released shortlists for various categories for the 2019 Oscars, including Best Visual Effects. Marvel Studios and Disney were well represented, with Avengers, Infinity Boar, Bland Panther, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Mary Floppins and that little runt Winnie the Pooh all making the cut. Strangely, Aquaman's beautiful effects heavy action were ignored. This bizarre announcement came just days before Aquaman's release, which one commemorated with a Facebook post. Aquaman's visual effects supervisor Calvin McElwain congratulated one on the film, with a comment on that very post. A week later, one replied to McElwain, blasting the Academy for leaving Aquaman off the VFX shortlist. Kelvin, you and your department are the unsung heroes of this film. The fact that your VFX peers in the Academy aren't recognizing or appreciating what we, you've all contributed to the film and cinema is a fucking disgrace. It's a fucking disgrace. Are those the words of a sore loser? Spit the dummy, like, have a tantrum. Or does one have a point? How in the bloody fish sucking sons of the trench could this visual masterpiece be ignored? Shit house, toilet. But wait, Kelvin McElwain had more to say. I'm with you James. It was a complete shock to everyone that we are not in the final 10 films that will be presenting at the Academy VFX Bake Off. The selection process is very flawed, in my opinion, and too open to influence. I wonder who, or what, he believes is influencing the Academy.